noch zu einem gelachten Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Stay with us, you're watching EA TV. A warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And it's match day one in the 2024 UEFA European Championship. It's Denmark against England. A smart stop here. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel is the keeper. Yannick Vestergaard plays with Andreas Christensen in central defence. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre-Emile Heubier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Oh, big opportunity! Oh, not to be! An opportunity wasted early in the game. Well, maybe it's come a little bit too early, Derek. But that's a wasteful finish. Well, last time out at the Euros, England fell at the final hurdle, losing in the final itself at the hands of Italy on penalties. But you look at the squad, you look at where England should be, and we're led to believe, Stuart, that this could well be England's Euros. Absolutely. I think England are a very good team. They've got a manager that has failed in the very biggest games. That's where he's got to improve. And you mentioned that game against Italy in 2020. That's a game they should have won. They should have beaten France at the World Cup as well. Gareth Southgate has to get this right. England have got some great players. They should be favourites for this tournament. Very quick thinking there. The England first 11. Jordan Pickford is the keeper. Kieran Trippier starts with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Phil Foden plays with Bukayo Saka on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. Of possibilities inside the box spot on with that tackle decisive in the tackle and the throw in here Walker and back to Bellingham it might be the moment to get them ahead and he's kept it out Fully stretched, somehow reaching it. <laughs> Playing it in. And a decent save, full credit. Rasmus Heilum. Christian Eriksen now. Nicely timed tackle. Could it be? And a really good stop. Well, that's a save of the highest quality. Great goalkeeping there. Played over, and he clears the danger. Mark Guehi. Bukayo Saka. Can't miss, surely! And the ball is loose. Cleared away comprehensively. Trying to find the right angle of attack. Oh, fine stop. Now sending it in. 
Is this the moment? That is that for the first half here. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Pabier. Poilund. Well, wasteful from Denmark. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. It certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Rasmus Hoylund. Determined defending. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Foden. Trippier now. Kane. England moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Counter-attacking chance. And nicely over the top. Firing it towards goal. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. Saka. And Denmark come away with it. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Foden. Outdoing his opponent. Kane. Can he put them in front? And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, just look at how poor the defending is here. But I have to say, it's still a very tidy finish. He looked really assured there. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Walker. Giving the ball to the opposition that time. Just ten minutes to go. Alexander Bach. Well, they have the advantage. That's good refereeing. A wilting under the pressure. And now, can they keep it out? Well, they can bring it out now. Phil Foden. Watkins. England a bit sloppy in possession. And forward they go, chasing the game. Can they convert? Well, it looks so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. And the final whistle is sounded. England victorious, plenty of plus points. And Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, they didn't dominate the game by any means today, but overall they had the better of the chances and just about deserved their win. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about...